So things haven't quite gone to plan. We are still in with a shot of automatic promotion, but the playoffs are looking pretty likely at this stage. So following on from the last episode, we actually drew our next game away from home against Ipswich Town. Roy Martin had put us in front 52 minutes in, but a 90th minute equaliser from Kevin Baird ruined it. We then did win a game though, this time at home against Middlesbrough. Miguel Ramirez and Ian Gerrard with the goals. Alex Potts getting a late consolation for Borough. We then drew nil-nil against Bolton and our, just, our team's throwing this away. They are absolutely completely disassembling themselves. We could not get a goal in today's game and the next game was worse. We got beat 2-0 at away from home against Sheffield United, which I thought when it happened effectively ended our automatic promotion uh, chase, but it didn't. This is how the Skybet Championship looks. We currently sit in fifth position. We are two points away from Fulham in second, three points away from Leeds in first, but we are also behind Villa and West Ham by a point. So if we are to get promoted automatically, it's going to take an absolute miracle. We are, Aston Villa and West Ham are playing each other, which I'm not even sure if that's a good thing or not. I think we need both of them to get beat, which obviously can't happen. Uh, Leeds United, who are they facing? They've got Bournemouth away from home. That's going to be a tough game, even though Bournemouth are currently sitting in 15th. And Fulham, they have Charlton <laughs> away from home. Charlton, the only relegated side in the division. So yeah... I'm not even sure if I should live con this game. I mean, I should, shouldn't I? Just in case. It might happen. It might not. This is going to be the lineup then for today's game away from home against Brentford. Shaber and goal. Uh, where's Nan Chen? Why isn't he starting? We'll put him over Victor Ambrose. So, Astley, Nan Chen, Davidson as our centre backs. Diongo and Valdez as our wing backs. Corcada, Medeiros in the centre of the park. Martin, Ramirez, and Gerard playing in the striker roles. As you can see, they are now playing as complete forwards with Medeiros as a Mezzala in the centre of midfield. Let's, that's the first time I'm playing it. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how it goes. So they come at us with a 4-1-2-3. We've got to go for this game. We've got to win and hopefully by a comfortable margin. And even then, it's highly unlikely we get promoted uh, in today's game. But you never know. First highlight of the game comes five minutes in. We are on the attack down the right-hand side. The ball falls to Kokada. On the edge of the area, Dionku can't get his cross in. We switch the player to the left-hand side with uh, Edison Valdez who comes down. He's got no pressure on him whatsoever. He whips it in and falls to Roy Martin in the box. And he should probably do a little bit better with that chance. We are going to come off our attack and team mentality straight away and move to balanced. Although we'll have ourselves another highlight 15 minutes in and we are in possession. Um, going by the match stats at the very least, Brentford are having the better of the game and more of the possession. So... We need to turn things down a little bit to try and get a foothold in this game. But we are attacking down the right-hand side with Diongu. We're keeping the ball pretty well, but there is pretty big gaps shown between the midfield and the defence as uh, Brentford come forward and have a poor shot at Chabert. 30 minutes gone. We have ourselves another highlight. We win the ball from a Brentford goal kick. Hopefully, uh, we can form a counter-attack and opportunity here. Medeiros switches the play to Dionku on this right-hand side. Come on, Dionku. He drives into the box and goes for goal. I'm sick of telling him not to shoot. He doesn't listen. We'll pull up the later scores just for, I don't know, just to keep things interesting. Fulham are getting beat. <laughs> Villa and West Ham are still drawn. Leeds are still drawn with Bournemouth. I think if we were winning right now, we'd be top two. We need to get a win, boys. We're going back attacking. I'm pretty sure if we take the lead in this game, we go second in the league. Oh, no, we don't. West Ham must suddenly be winning after the half-time break. So, 53 minutes in, we have our first highlight of the second half. It's Brentford in possession. They give it away sloppily, though, to Roy Martin, who goes all the way back to the defence. We had them on the back foot, Roy. We should be attacking them there. Dionku to Kokada. They are really pressuring us pretty well. As you can see, there's at least one man at every single ball very, very quickly. Um, so, we need to be clever in our play. We find Valdez down this left-hand side. He gets into the box, whips it in. Roy Martin's there, back post. He is not offside. He is not. That's his 16th goal of the season. And he puts us 1-0 up 54 minutes in. We need to skip this replay. We go third. West Ham must be winning. Let's get the latest scores back up. Ah, this bloody highlight. Right, where's the, where's the latest scores? I mean, I know I should be watching this highlight. And the likelihood is we might end up conceding if I, stop, if I don't pay attention to it. But uh, where am I putting this? West Ham are winning 1-0 away from home against Villa. Leeds are also winning. Fulham are still getting beat though. But Charlton are down to 10 men. I didn't notice that the first time round. 
Oh, this is this is all going wrong. Brentford are in. Thankfully, they miss. Come on, Villa. You need to get a goal back. We have ourselves a highlight. 64 minutes and the ball's whipped in. It's cleared. Kokada keeps it alive. Medeiros. Come on, lads. Get a second goal. Just a matter of comfortable. And I can start really paying attention to the latest scores. Uh, we go down the right-hand side with Diongu. Who whips it in back post. Gerard should put that in the back of the net. No doubt about it. But uh, keeping an eye on the latest scores. Villa still aren't doing their part. Come on. Villa, please. Please. <laughs> I haven't even paid any attention to this game, really. Uh, we'll look to make some subs. We'll bring on Betteridge for Dionku at the right wing back spot. We'll bring on Mabry for Kokada. I don't think he's fit. So we'll bring on Van Slemming for Roy Martin up top. We have ourselves a highlight straight away. It is still 1 0 to West Ham in the all but crucial game. Fulham have equalised. Oh, it's all going downhill. I'm not sure where that leaves us in terms of the league table. Um, I, I think a point might have been enough from Fulham. Brentford go close as well. Yeah, Fulham go second. We would need Fulham to get beat and West Ham to concede. It's looking highly unlikely at this stage. Fulham are now winning. That's it. It's game over. We are going to penalty and not penalties, playoffs. Oh, can you remember Huddersfield? I remember Huddersfield. We got beat in the playoffs. I don't I don't want to do it. I really, really don't want to do it. Although when I took over West Brom, I wasn't anticipating getting promoted straight away. I know we've we've done it. We've pulled it out the bag so many times. As uh, Jim Walker, a former man, puts Brentford 1-1. It's, it's irrelevant at this point. Um, so yeah, it was definitely a possibility getting automatically promoted with West Brom. But when I first took over, I wasn't that bothered if we didn't. It gave us that extra season to be able to really build up the funds. But now, now we're in the playoffs. We've missed out on um, automatic promotion. Suddenly it's all too real and I'm not pleased about it. So there's the final league table. Then we will play a Villa in the playoff semi-finals Everton and West Ham will be in the other one at least on the positive side Leeds did get promoted so all of our former side should now be back in the Premier League I'll just take a quick check of that make sure nobody's uh, getting relegated Barnsley could still get relegated but it looks unlikely that would happen at this stage so uh, it looks like all of our former clubs will be in the Premier League next season let's move on we've got a playoff semi-final this is going to be a long episode I do apologise so let's get into the first game of our playoff run. We're away from home against Villa in the first leg. We've got a pretty much full strength first eleven: Shaber, Chen, Ambrose, Davidson, Diong, Valdez, Cocada, Medeiros, Martin, Ramirez, and Gerard all make up the first eleven. And <laughs> why? Why am I in this position? I don't want to play the playoffs. I really don't. Four, two, three, one. Let's just get into this game. Let's, we've been pretty successful in playoff semi-finals at the very least. We've got a 50-50 rate going into playoff finals. So, um, yeah, maybe maybe we could get a pinch another win as we go close early on. 45 minutes, uh, 45, 45 seconds in. It's been a pretty dull first 20 minutes. I'll not lie to you. A pretty dull 35 minutes. A pretty dull 43 minutes and we get our first, well, our second highlight. But the first one didn't really count. Kokada plays it into Dionku on this right hand side. He switches the play to Valdez beautifully. And Valdez, what a goal that is. And what a time to do it. Edison Valdez on his second goal of the season. His second goal for the club. And this was all made by Kokada's pass. I didn't know he had this sort of range of passing in him. I just thought he was a workhorse. But that is a great ball. And Valdez, that is a finish and a half. So half time comes and goes. We're looking pretty good in terms of the match stats. Um, but it's been a pretty disappointing game so far. We will actually pull up the later scores. I want to say what's oh, Everton beating West Ham 2-0. West Ham will be absolutely raging having finished third. Um, but we'll kick off for the second half. 48 minutes in. We have our first highlight. Vitinha brings it forward for Villa. There's nobody closing him down. He goes for goal. Chabert is that a save quite easily. The highlight does continue. Dionko. Coming down this right-hand side. He's got two men on him. He still whips it in. Gerard is there. Gerard gets his 15th goal of the season and puts us 2-0 up. 49 minutes in. I'll tell you why I'm not getting excited. It's not the playoff final. <laughs> Once we're in the playoff final and we're 2-0 up, then I'll get excited. But for now, this is all just rudimentary. Um, I'm not getting me hopes up whatsoever. I've already sort of resigned myself to being in the championship next season. So anything more is just a bonus. Um, 30 minutes left in this game away from home as well puts us superbly positioned to get through to the final 
Um, just a home leg, of course, to go after that. We look to take off our two yellow card boys. I, I want no red cards. I don't want any of this nonsense. I'm go even going to take off Valdez, even without a left wing back on the bench. So if the first legs are anything to go by, it could be an us-Everton final. Of course, there's still a lot of football to be played. 97 minutes, to be precise. But we have ourselves another highlight with seven minutes to go. Martin coming down this right-hand side. He whips it in. Gerard's there. First time volley. He goes close. Only a couple of minutes left in this game. And we do have a highlight. Just uh, don't give the ball away, boys. That'll be fine by me. Betteridge playing left wing back. He's got no clue how to do it. He cuts inside. Oh, Oh, I thought that was a penalty there. It wasn't, though. Uh, it's going to be an Aston Villa counter-attack man, Garno. And I mean, that's just stupid. That is just stupid, boys. Why has that just happened? 90, I mean, maybe because I'm attacking. <laughs> maybe it could be my fault. <laughs> but maybe not, man, Garno. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why didn't we just stop that? Jesus. And there we have then Aston Villa 1, West Brom 2. Still a really, really good scoreline. But that uh, late goal definitely gives Villa... A little bit of purpose going into the second leg. I'll see you there. So the second leg is upon us. I don't think there's any changes to the starting 11. Let's get a kick off and hopefully we can... Hopefully this can just be routine. Get a nice comfortable 2-0 win. We go through 4-1. Probably face Everton in the final. We win that. Everybody's happy. We're in the Premier League. I mean, it's a nice rosy picture at the end. But there's a lot of work to do to get there. First highlight of the game comes 17 minutes in. Corcada brings the ball through the centre. His pass isn't so great this time, but Valdez does pick it up on this left-hand side. He's got all the space in the world. He drives into the box, finds Gerard to Ramirez, and Miguel Ramirez gets his seventh goal of the season and puts us 1-0 up in today's game. 3-1 up on aggregate inside 17 minutes. Decent play by Valdez. I mean, I'm not sure what the Aston Villa players were doing here. They just completely left him be. Ian Gerrard with the composure to touch it down to Ramirez and it's a tidy, tidy finish. Still nil nil in the other game today. 2-0 on aggregate to Everton. We'll have to keep an eye on that throughout the second half. I mean, I'm not counting my chickens just yet, but we are 3-1 up. We're, in, we're at home. We're in the driving seat. Um, we'll just need to maintain our composure and make sure, maybe even try and kill this game off with Diongo whipping the ball in. It's cleared by Villa. Back out to Diongo. Loses the ball. And could it be a Villa counter attack? Maybe it's not. I think Villa are playing pretty standoffish. They're not really pressing us that much. Valdez with all the time in the world again on that left hand side. And I mean, it's too easy. Alfa Diongo with his ninth goal of the season from right wing back. And Edison Valdez is really. <laughs> I mean, look at this. He travels at least 30, 40 yards without anybody coming close to him. And then it's as simple as you like, sort of cross and finish. We'll take it. And now we have it then, boys. West Brom 2, Villa 0. Everything is going cosy. Exactly what we were hoping from the second leg. Still 0-0 in the West Ham Everton game. So as things stand, we will be playing Everton in the playoff final. Let's uh, just keep things as they stand, please. Who would I even want? West Ham or Everton? I'm not too sure. Uh, I think West Ham have got the better side than Everton in terms of first 11 quality. But of course it's Everton. I think they've given us problems in games we've played them so far in the league. And he's me talking whilst Villa come forward and get a goal. Um, Nathan Young Coombs. Maybe I should come off attacking. Uh, we'll get a positive. I don't like going defensive. I really don't. I always feel like it's just inviting pressure from the attacking side and... I do genuinely believe the best form of defence is attack on football manager at the very least. And particularly when you've got a good side as well, you don't really want to be given too much of the ball away to the opposition by sitting too deep. So that's why I tend not to do it. Um, and sometimes it'll probably cost us, but sometimes it doesn't. And uh, I think today, staying out positive, it's pr pretty much killed this game for the second half. And Villa haven't really offered too much since getting that goal back. The West Ham game has remained the same and time is just ticking away. And with one and a half minute remaining, even if Villa were to score from this opportunity, you would imagine we are going to get ourselves through to the playoff final. But it's going to be our attack as Ian Gerrard beats the offside trap. He's in behind. Poor finish. Full time is fast approaching. We're already 10 seconds over the allotted time. And there it is. West Brom 2, Villa 1, 4-2 on aggregate. And I believe we will be facing Everton in the playoff final that is coming up next and i will see you there shortly and it is everton just submitted the side for the playoff final west brom 
versus Everton. They have come at us pretty defensively. We've got a full strength side. Let's just see how this goes, shall we? Please, boys, don't do this. Don't ruin me, dear. Just get promoted. I don't think there's any other game, maybe a Champions League final or something like that, that provokes this level of anxiety and angst and Everton are on the attack. Stamp to Baker, the shot is blocked. Valdez clears, Martin picks it up and maybe we are on the counter-attack. He's driving down that right-hand side. He's got options at the back post. He's going to go for goal, isn't he? But oh, he's stupid Martin, man. The highlight does continue though. Diongo back to Medeiros. The ball's whipped in. Ramirez was there, but it's cleared by Everton and Teixeira. Completely gives the ball away to Ian Gerrard. Roy Martin's in behind. Roy! Just breathe. You're only five minutes in. Medeiros with a corner. He plays it in from post and there's nobody there. Twelve minutes in and there is another highlight. It's Everton on the attack down the left-hand side. Looks like they're going to try and switch the player or go back to the keeper. Come on, boys. Oh, long kick up. Oh, my God, Chabert. What an absolute save that was. That was just a massive boot up by the Everton goalkeeper. Completely does our defence and Everton should be 1-0 up. But Ledesma with a free kick. It's cleared. Oh my god, it goes over the bar. Oh, this game's not... Uh, <laughs> it's not good for the heart. 30 minutes in. And going by the match stats, I think we're having the better of it just about. Oh my god, we've just hit the post off that corner. He should have scored. The keeper was nowhere to be seen. And we should be 1-0 up. Come on, boys. Two minutes before half-time. Dionku on this right-hand side to Medeiros. The ball's played in. Gerard heads it down. Roy. Come on, Roy. Roy the man. He's 17th goal of the season. God, right. Just chill out. What should we... Do we do anything? Or do we keep things as they are? I think we'll stay as we are for now. I'm not watching the replay. I don't care. We're 50-50 in possession. We're having the better of the opportunities by far. Um, we just need to... Keep it going for the second half. We might go down to positive, maybe 60 minutes. I think I think we'll stick with what we're doing for another 15, 20 minutes or so and hope that uh, nothing goes wrong. Right, we're 60 minutes in. I'm dropping us to positive. That's the first change. They're still balanced. They're not going for this just yet. So by us drop, and we're going to drop the tempo as well. Let's drop that slightly lower tempo. Let's just slow this game down. Let's try and wind the clock away 15 minutes to go now we time waste sometimes we sometimes time waste and with 10 minutes to go we decide to time waste a little bit more frequently and with eight minutes to go we are going to go to balanced they are now attacking they are very attacking we are quite countering and we have a highlight the first highlight of the second half 86 minutes in please don't score now we've made too many changes oh stamps coming down the right hand side i don't want to watch he feeds it to Ledesma. There's, oh, there's two men in the box. He's not offside. Ah, why? Let's undo all the things we've just done. Benjamin Rolheiser with his 12th goal of the season. Levels things up for Everton with only a few minutes to go. We're going back attacking. Um, we've still got all three of our substitutes as well. Ready for extra time. Uh, is anyone even really struggling out there? I mean, not really. We're 70% all across the board. Um, we'll maybe make some changes at half time of extra time to freshen things up. And there is half time of extra time. We'll look to make some substitutes now. Diogo can come off for Betteridge at right wing back. Uh, Miguel Ramirez can come off for Mick Van Slimming. We're going to make him the central striker. And Kokarda can come off for Andy Maybury. That's, well, we've got an extra sub as well, actually. We'll save that just in case of a yellow or, I mean, a red card or an injury. But looks like this is going to penalties, to be honest with you, lads. Five minutes. I'm not even sure what to do. Shall we go for it? I don't trust us on penalties. I don't trust us in general, to be quite honest with you. Van Slemming through to Roy. Come on, Roy. Come on, Roy. Roy Martin, you are a genius, my... Right, we're going... Right, I'm very defensive. I'm just... Just, just kill. Just kill the game. Come on, boys. Oh, corner. Four minutes to go. Everton. Off the line. Valdez clears it. Please end the highlight. Highlight is over. Two minutes remain. One minute remains. Are we going to get ourselves in the Premier League? We are. There's the confetti. Thank goodness for that. Oh, we're, we're in the Premier League. The summer transfer window is coming up next. That is going to be absolutely crazy. That is going to be the end of today's episode, boys. I am absolutely white after that game. But we've made it. First time of asking. It's took the playoffs, but... That's fine by me. We've done it. Roy Martin is the hero of the day. He gets us promoted with his two goals in the playoff final. 
will he still be here next season? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But um, anyway, lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please con. Oh, 56 million and one and a half million pound in the wages. Oh, my days. We are going to have some fun. Anyway, boys. That's enough from me today. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.